by everything. It's a bit of a THX experiment early this morning. Um, that's just a different panel of, of uh, swapping things around, you know, because it's very, it's very uh, technical, technical here. <laughs> so I've taken the, uh, the filter off. It's usually have connect on there. Uh, some this lead, bit of a bit of a Frankenstein. It's all connected down down here. <laughs> um, and it's all connected up down to the back onto the AVR on the center channel. So it's going directly into the computer. There being no kitty as usual. Frequency graph. So that's what it looks like on the Denon uh, or the AVR. Can't get the. I still can't get this uh, generator thing to sweep up to a uh, up to beyond the uh, twenty thousand kilohertz. Seems to uh something's not set on correctly on the on the computer everything is on the uh or would be on the uh uh something's not talking but it doesn't really matter because no one is going to hear anything above 20,000 kilohertz except a dog a cat and your pet bat if you happen to have a pet bat uh, that's the only things that are going to hear that and even if you're uh 14 years old, you know, before you're 16, it's very doubtful, you know, um, you're going to hear that frequency, and even if you can, you won't be able to hear it that long, because as soon as you're usually about 16 years old, or just over, just 16, your hearing frequency range then starts rolling off, so you forget about it, but the evolution of dogs, cats, and pet, um, uh, it's a lot better than us. Uh, pet bat is only about about one kilohertz up here. But that's where bats hear uh, about one kilohertz going upwards to ultrasonic frequencies. So you can forget about it. All right, they don't mix films that they don't mix musical films that high. So, <laughs> um, but that's the frequency response I got. This is sort of very. Um, very kind of wiggly uh, going down in the uh, the other frequency range. Um, I'm just going to repeat another sweep. Um, start at zero. So it can't hear anything because it's going directly into the uh, into the computer. So I'm bypassing the speakers and the uh, or bypassing the, most of the, uh, the 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 B chain in the, in the room and the, uh, the THX sound system. Okay, let's have a look what we've got here. Let's turn that one off. Put some smoothing on it. Okay. And take put the smoothing off again. Let's have a look at that. Mm, interesting. So is that deviating this so I'm using um what are they? One dB steps? I'm going to go a little bit more. Because I'm zooming in on the resolution. So just trying to get a picture of everything. Of the, uh, I was going to do this test um, about a month or so ago, but I wasn't feeling very well at the time. Um, nothing to do with, you know, um, so we are in one, one dB steps. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm in one dB steps. Get a little bit more. 
course that zooms in that's just zooming in and I'm zooming out zooming out so deviations are uh, 10 dB oh no 5 dB um, more now it's about 10 db divisions but you can see you know i can see right right there so that's why i'm going so man uh, stretch it out a bit Uh, so what am I? One dB. Very yeah. Okay. So uh, interesting. Interesting that in in this range. It's interesting to analyze. Um, whether it repeats the same, or whether, whether it's a fluke or something, so I might repeat it. Let's see if it does the same, because I'm, I'm because everything I've got in the system in the B chain, all different similar processes and such, <coughs> they all got different characteristics on their frequency response, such as the Denon and everything. The THX sound system has its own specific designed frequency uh, response uh, specifically for high frequency boost uh, for screen channel compensation on HF horns. Go the overlay. Yeah, mm, doesn't quite repeat the same. You think because it's it's all direct, lightning would definitely strike twice. I mean it's kind of, but there's just so hmm what's the funny? Hmm What's the funny? I know this ADR has been tested by uh, ASR Amir, the audio science reviewer. Um Uh, let's just have a look. Where am I going? Oh, up here. Put, put the smoothing on at 148. Yeah, it doesn't seem to strike twice. I'm just going to do this sweep again and again and again. So I'll close these off. Repeat the sweep. <clears throat> Looks good on the uh, what's it? And I can see it and do another one. I haven't even got yet to doing left, center, uh, all the other surround and blah 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 channels. And let's put the color choice back to. Yeah, it's not kind of lightning striking twice there. It's a bit funny. That's what I call very funny. What's going on? What's what's funny? Because if I... Uh, uh, oh, I uh, outputted the computer to the uh, computer. So the computer does a frequency sweep on a loop. Um, I haven't tested that yet. But, 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 I think I can give it a miss. Generally, that looking at that is, um, hmm, it's going a bit weird there. Uh, let's take the fader level up on the AVR a little bit. I'll do that sweep again. So it's just be a little bit louder. Oh, it's almost, it's almost getting near to the top. 
Okay. Where's the other suite? Oh, it should be up here. Because it's a little bit higher. Oh yeah, there it is. Um, hmm, still something a little bit funny. So, trying to figure out what the funny is. So this is the, the test that Amir did a couple of years ago. I wouldn't say, you know, he doesn't know what he's doing here. I'm just saying that um, you do test of channel 1, channel 2, and that RMS level, total harmonic distortion. Uh, sin, Sinad, or I don't know if that's spelt wrong. Sinbad? Sinbad the Sailor? I don't know. I don't know what bloody Sinad is. Uh, frequency response. Um, I can't make heads or tails of what if that's a frequency sweep there he's done. Looks like one, but um, uh, oh yeah, there's a um, uh, what's it? Uh, multi tone. Uh, maybe I'll do a, put a multi tone in mine in in a second. Um, I think that's looking for the jitter effect in it. Yeah, the, this one there is looking for the uh, the phenomena, the jitter effect. Yeah. That's my that's my cat's bear's third na name because a cat cat's got three names. Um, bear Rambo jitter. <laughs> uh, uh, Magic's only got two names. Magic Catastrophe. <laughs> uh, cat Catastrophe, get it? Okay, so... <laughs> yeah, sign sweep. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. Um, yeah, see, Amir's managed to get his... Obviously, he's got his test gear, and it's getting a sweep up to just past 20,000 kilohertz, up to part near 50 or and such, and then it's rolling off. Frequency response seems to be rolling off. Um, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. I just can't get my blimmin' uh, freaking computer to go that high at the moment. It should. It should. There's no reason there's something it's not checked, ticked. Um, what else can't I see here? Don't give a damn about all these RMS bloody voltage. You know, all you need is a ver an additional variable resistor on the AVR. Uh, so you've got the RCA phone who's going out into a box, and then you've got RCA phone who's coming back out going to amplifiers if you want to do that sort of thing. <laughs> um, and then just use a variable resistor and just adjust it very tinily. Because uh, I'm sure if I were to check you know, I'm going to see, yeah, and it's going to make me feel sick as a parrot. Because ideally the level should be the same. Um, but that's that. So, um, I've done my frequency sweep. Um, But it does look a little bit wiggly at the top. It's, and that's just going to say, like, well, that's going to add some extra high frequency boost and so forth. It should be flat. Um, and it does sort of roll off uh, starting around about, um, oh gosh, near 8 kilohertz. It's starting to roll off. 
uh, well, I'm afraid that's a little bit unacceptable. So I'll have to adjust it with the, uh, you know, uh, the internal AVRs EQ, which is very basic. It's only half octaves. Um, but all down here, bloody hell, it's, 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 like a, it's like something out of the movie, The Fugitive. It's a bloody train wreck. It might be in a margin of, um, what is it, uh, 14, um, gosh, um, let's just go back out down a bit, let's go up, go to, SP, <clears throat> yeah, just trying to get. Oh gosh, don't want to get anxiety. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so I hardly use this resolution. So fourteen dB is up here where the uh, what's it's moving around. That's about fourteen dB up there, and fifteen dB is down here. So that's. Between between up there and down there, that's about one dB, I think. So that's saying minus fourteen point one point two point three point four five point six point seven point. You know, so it's like warp speed. You know, um, so it's tiny deviations. That that is. That's a tiny fraction deviation, but that's to me that's unacceptable. Anyway, so I'll post this and I'll do another.